Hello, I'm Dr. William Inman. You know me as the laser guy. I'm here with another uh, small short laser on pain control using the new Avon AV or LZ30-Z laser program with 1800, my 1800 protocols, including one protocol of the thousands of protocols that we have essentially that's delineated pain. <coughs> this device was originally used, <coughs> excuse me, originally developed for pain control and provided for medical practitioners. A very effective instrument, both infrared and red, essentially, and um, it has a setting on it in A to Z in the Dr. Bill Inman protocols that is pain. Okay, you hit the pain button and uh, let me turn this laser on. Hit the hold button down, hit the button four times, one, two, three, four, enter. It tells you to basically loop standard hood. You go here to pain, essentially. Hit the button for pain, nothing happens because there are 10, or I'm sorry, 15 different, 17 different subsets for pain. So you right click on that and the first one you get is acute due to injury essentially. So if you basically have an acute injury, somebody basically smacks their elbow or uh, hits their knee essentially, what you do is you flip this guy on, it tells you to put the glasses on. <clears throat> and since you're under 500 milliwatts, we're at about 300 milliwatts, of course, then you go ahead and laze uh, essentially the joint. And uh, that's fine. Now, this particular infrared and red laser basically is directed towards taking care of acute pain. This one particularly is just infrared for acute pain, and it can be effective for anywhere um, inside of two minutes, essentially. The lasering time is 60 seconds to two minutes, essentially, and you'll get a response, uh, diminishing pain due to vasodilatation in that short period of time. It's important to use, understand that infrared laser basically is vasodilatative. And when we use infrared laser, we're using it to try to treat pain. We can, for anywhere from three to seven days, effectively reduce pain. After that, we've probably produced all the vasodilatation we're going to, and we need to use other therapies that are going to address uh, uh, re repair to the actual tissues that's causing the pain. In other words, the joint, the tissues of the joint, the synovial cells, the connective tissue, the part, cartilage, the bone, etc., etc. And those frequencies are in these. If we scroll down the various 17 different pain frequencies or pain s subsets to pain, <coughs> 17 of them, <coughs> excuse me, Acute due to injury is something that we'd use in this regard. Um, there's abdominal for vets. So when we have belly pain in the dog, we basically use this particular uh, situation. We have just abdominal pain, which is what you use for a stomach ache or a belly ache, essentially associated with various conditions with the human being, of course. And then we have what's uh, a setting called acute pain, and that's basically similar to what I just showed you. Acute due to trauma, essentially, it uh, uh, reduces that, but also it has infrared and red laser involved with it, so it directs towards treating the uh, nerve endings essentially also to try to reduce pain in that regard. The, um, they also, there's a, 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 a protocol here for treating cancer pain and cancer has a specific type of pain which we address with this particular instrument. That We do not cure cancer with this instrument. The body basically does what it's going to do. We encourage the body to do what it's going to do with this laser, but we don't cure cancer. So don't hit the button that says cancer. Oh, I'll just cure cancer with this device. It doesn't do that. It handles the pain associated with uh, that uh, cancer. We have chronic, essentially, chronic pain, essentially. Pain's been on board for a long time. Somebody's got a problem with their knee that have been on board for years, essentially, we address with this particular protocol, along with other ones. There's general <coughs> non-tractable, which is very commonly uh, a pain in throughout the body that's not responding to any other kinds of therapy or medications, essentially, which is one of the non-tractable ones. I'm going through these, essentially. And then we have general one. Now, we have general one, two, and three. And general one is for... For instance, like joint pain, somebody hurts their knee, essentially, we treat them and they get better. We know it's a generalized in the knee, for instance, or in the joint, dog, cat, or horse, and that's fine. We have general two, which is basically um, uh, specifically adding, uh, is for nerve pain or nerve-directed pain. And um, essentially, we use that when, and if that is effective, we know that the problem is probably spinal essentially, and so we would be lasering uh, the spine area, or we would be lasering, for instance, the part of the body that um, uh, corresponds to that, like sciatic pain, that type of thing. We have um, general, oops, I have to turn this off. We have general three, we have general one, two, and three. And general three is a combination of general one and two. You say to yourself, well, why not to use general three all the time? Well, you can, and it's effective, and your job is to try to make the boo-boo go away. <clears throat> That's what you're getting paid for. But if you use general three, then the and the, the uh, patient gets better. That's great. But you don't know whether it's just focalized or whether it's nerve pain. So that's why we have generalized one, two, and three. 
We have a, a setting for head pain, and that basically is for like headaches, and it's usually uh, lasered right behind here. You can also laser it up underneath the neck, essentially, for head and headache pain. We also have settings just for headache, too, by the way. Um, we have uh, head for vet, and that's a different setting, usually for the equine and also the canine. We basically will use those settings specifically for head pain associated with mostly the horse because the horse will have a number of pains that will cause the horse not to be able to focus and it's kind of a, it's kind of a problem, so we're able to treat that. We have a setting for infection, the, the pain involved with infected systems and tissues basically that are oozing uh, infection or basically have pain associated with the proliferation of uh, microorganisms in the tissue and there's a pain involved with that and we're able to, to Hey, take care of that. One that we use a lot is pain joint. Pain joint basically directs ourselves towards taking care of acute and chronic problems in the joint essentially. And it has frequencies for increasing the blood supply, which is good, but it also, and this is important, has frequencies for treating cartilage, bone, connective tissue, nerve, lymphatic drainage, blood input, capillary uh, perfusion, and uh, venous drainage essentially. All of these, and there's about 16 of them, are in pain subset joint. We use it a lot. However, people will use it over a two-week period of time and find out it's not as effective at that point. And at that point, you should probably switch to a different protocol that is just, just red, not infrared and red. And that would be, for instance, for the spine, it would be like degenerative myelopathy. Or for the shoulder, it would be bicipital bursitis. For the back or the hip, it would be for sciatica. Those <clears throat> frequencies, basically, or those protocols are specific for uh, resolving the problem after about two or three weeks of pain, infrared, plus red, essentially, we would switch specifically to that particular condition. We have post-trauma or post-surgery, which is very effective treating, and I have treated myself effectively with um, this particular uh, therapy um, in, after I had a knee replacement, for instance, and it makes life a lot easier for people who had any kind of surgery, uh, abdominal exploratory celiotomies or, I'm sorry, uh, abdominal surgeries or uh, urogenital surgeries and particularly for um, musculoskeletal or um, osteo um, orthopedic surgery and there's uh, oops and then there's spinal there's a, a pain subset spinal and of course it has specific frequencies that are helpful for removing um, acute pain in the spine people will come to their doctor essentially usually the chiropractor for acute exacerbated pain in the spine. It is so bad that they have to go see somebody. They can't get in to see their MD and have an um, uh, opioid medication prescribed for them. We're able to take them out of pain with this uh, rather quickly. I had a, a friend of mine injure his back at uh, a rehearsal the other day and um, he was in severe pain. He was going to go see his doctor the next day but we were able to laser him with this protocol and he was out of pain and he said, God, that's amazing, within two minutes. And so that's an effective approach to treat that. We also have what's called tissue challenge. And there's a tissue challenge uh, subset of this protocol. And that tissue challenge basically is designed to, to challenge, essentially, for muscle testing. And so we have that available if, in fact, you're trying to you muscle test, essentially, week, week. And also, then we lace that area, for instance, and it becomes strong again. That is specifically what that's designed for. So tissue challenges for muscle testing and muscle evaluation, which we don't teach, but nonetheless, a lot of practitioners will use. So these are the 17 different subsets of pain, which are one of the 1,800 different protocols that are in this particular laser. The laser has thousands of uses. We've barely even scratched the surface of what it is that we can do with this laser. It is an amazing instrument, and it's what we've dedicated uh, all of our research and our, and our uh, clinical devotion to try to, to resolve, essentially, at this point. Um, it, there will be subsequent imp improvements of the technology, its application. There will be videos showing, showing you how to go about using various aspects of this laser. There will be a course, essentially, that there will be rather extensive accumulating all this information that we've learned and are still learning. Right now we're learning so much that it's kind of difficult for us to put out a, um, a course or a module, essentially, on this particular laser because everything changes so fast, and I appreciate that. Um, this particular laser, too, um, at 7650, is probably going to pay for itself in a clinical practice in a week. At least we've found. We've sent home six, seven hundred of these things, and um, no one has ever sent one back. And so if you have interest in this laser and don't have one or need another one, a lot of people have bought a second and a third and a fourth laser, essentially, for their practices, you need to contact me at area code 208 640 that's my cell phone. I'll answer on Pacific time just about any time you want to call me. In the meantime, 
Um, I don't answer at 5 o'clock in the morning, so people on the East Coast basically will call me at 8 o'clock their time. But um, I would have you give me, and I can give you some more information. I can also send you a bunch of information that we send to people who are trying to decide on this particular technology for their practice in uh, about 10 different files that we have that allow you to do your due diligence. Again, 208-640-3430, or you can text, I'm sorry, text me at that number, or you can email me at drbill, Dr. Bill at vomtech.com should be in this uh, email or in this uh, YouTube video. Thank you for your patience. Like I say, this is just the very, very tip of the iceberg of what this device can do and does do essentially and has been doing for the last two years since we've applied it and we're continually developing new applications and um, re revelations in applications for this instrument as we speak essentially. Thank you very much and have a great day.